Welcome to Cape Chronicle. I'm Alex Gasser. September was National Preparedness Month, um, but our responsibility to be prepared at home and across the community is ongoing. To talk with us about that, we welcome Cape Girardeau's Assistant Emergency Management Director, Jojo Stewart. Welcome, Jojo. Thank you. Um, thanks for being on our show today. Thanks for having us. <laughs> for having me. Um, so let's unpack uh, emergency management. What does that mean for Cape? What is so on the managerial side, that means we are trying to put a plan together so that the community, it'll help the community with getting through a disaster or getting through major, major events. Um, not, not the everyday little house fire thing like that, but like a tornado, winter, ice storm, something like that, or something that could displace families out of their homes, something major. So we try to get a plan together with myself and members of the the city team and have a plan ready to go in case something does happen. Gotcha. So um, what type of emergencies do you guys try to plan for? Well, as you know, there's railroads. So any kind of a railroad emergency disaster, um, we got the highway. So anything and everything can be traveling up and down the highway. So anything kind of has, has hazardous material related. Um, obviously winter storms, we do get those. Um, then you get the natural tornado and then you on the new at New Madrid fault line of course that's the big you know what happens if we get the big earthquake you know so we have our plan is trying to encapsulate all of those all of those things it's something that we hope never happens but you try to have a plan for it to get through it smoothly how yeah. often does that plan evolve or change um with well at least our plan like i'm going through the update right now every three years we try to update that just okay. like we do a, um, a threat analysis every three years as far as going back with the state looking at in, in our area, what kind of threats do we have besides railroad and the river? Obviously we got the river that you can have emergencies also. So every three years we're kind of updating and like what I've been doing now is trying to update our EOC. When it got built 16 years ago, it wasn't all this technology you know, as much as we have now. So now we're trying to upgrade, upgrade that so that in the event of disasters or emergencies as far as the command post can be there and with the technology of the drones and cameras and all the programs we have, we can get bird's eye, hands-on actual feeds of what, of what's transpiring. Oh, wow. Um, so you guys yeah. have drones that actually yes. help survey? Yes. So we'll have our, cool. our Homeland Security Response Team has drones that goes out in the city. also has drones. So also in police emergencies, they have drones. And so we can get all those feeds and help be able to get resources to them as they need. Oh, wow. Um, so what what is a citizen's role? So I live in Cape Girardeau. What is my role when an emergency happens? To be as prepared as you can be, um, which is basically do pre-plans, you know, plan ahead. So simple things of making sure you have all the smoke alarms, make sure you have fire extinguishers and that any, you know, all the responsible people in the house know how to use fire extinguishers. Also, the people in, the, in your household know how to shut the electricity off know how to turn the gas off in the event of, you know, if you get an earthquake or something happened, because that would help mitigate a lot of the issue from, from getting worse. Uh, plan on, like we tell all the kids in schools to have evacuation plans. We'll do that in the house too. You know, have everyone know then of this, where are we going? Where are we all gonna go meet in a safe area? You know, have the kids know their actual address so that if they do call 911, they can actually give their address. Because if it's on a cell phone, it's going off towers. Some people, sometimes people don't realize that, that, oh, I'm just calling on my cell phone. I can, they'll, they'll know where I'm calling from. Well, not necessarily. So make sure that they know their address. Little things like that, that they take for granted. And then families financially can help by even having insurance. Realize also that if you're a renter, you need renter's insurance. The landlord, yeah, his building's gonna be insured, but any of your stuff that you own will not be. So gotcha. to save you money-wise. How that. often should citizens run through some of those plans or? or the plan should be done probably yearly. Okay. You know, go through with your kids, making sure everyone realizes what's, you know, or if you have any other, you know, changes, you do remodeling in your house. Um, you know, more than one way out. Everyone always wants to go out the main entrance. Well there's a fire or there's a problem or something fell during an earthquake that you can't get out that way, boom. Um, another thing is also part of your planning is what happens if you have to stay in your house, you can't evacuate. So you really wanna have at least, they say at least three days of storage, or enough food that you can go three days without having to 
go wow. out and get it because yeah, because <laughs> if, yeah, <laughs> if something happens right now, they're you know, trying derailment and this down down downtown area. They say you know you're gonna have to stay in place. You can't get out. The big you know whatever bad stuff in the air. Who knows how long? But wow. yeah. <laughs> um, if people want to learn more about how to become more prepared mm -hmm. for these types of scenarios, where, what do they need to do? First off. As of everything right now on the internet, you can yeah. Google, <laughs> Google emergency, and a zillion things will pop up how to do it through FEMA and things like that. Um, there's also a program, CERT, which is a community okay. emergency response team. Um, you can go call up, call the fire department, and they can get you in touch with a CERT representative, and they go through a whole preparedness. And whether you want to be part of a, of a response team of citizens, or basically it just teaches you, you know, what you should do at home, how you pre-plan, what kind of things you should have, you know, look at the basics of, oh, hey, those things might tip over in an earthquake, how to, you know, latch them down and, and be solid. But I would say that would be the best. What's the number one thing you think citizens forget about or are unprepared for, or do you have like one thing where you're like, oh, I wish everyone just knew this? I wish they just knew that Yes, it can happen to them. Everyone's <laughs> like, it's not going to happen to me. I'm, you know, I'm good. That's going to be, you know, no, you, bad stuff can happen to anybody. And that's why it's a, an emergency, something, you know, you don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know if you're going to get in a car accident. You don't know when, you know, so even just realizing, yes, it can happen to me. So try to prepare as much as you can, you know, what you can think about, you know. Gotcha. Um, um, has there been anything... Um, that you can remember that it's, you know, that you've experienced since well, being here. Not since being here, but like, all right, so say we come, we come, some emergencies happen in tornadoes or, or what have you, and we say, hey, we, we want you guys to evacuate. Take heed to that and evacuate. So many times, I've been involved in hurricanes back east. Oh, we're not going to evacuate. And then after it starts flooding and then, oh, now we want to be evacuated. Well, now we have to go in through all the the bad stuff to get them out where if they had just taken heed to the message to begin with it would have been a lot better so so listen to the message yes please <laughs> <laughs> and where would that message come from is it, it on their phone TVs, is it... radios phone um we're actually involved at ipods which is like amber alert through the okay. phones it'll come through on your phone just like that but we can make it down for just a one block area or we can do a whole city however we want to evacuate so it'll come through on all kinds of media Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jojo, for being here today. I appreciate it. No problem. Um, thank you for joining us today for the Cape Chronicle. The program is a collaboration among the Department of Mass Media at Southeast Missouri State University, the City of Cape Girardeau, and River Radio.